Oh, hi everyone, this is Gaurav and we are going to install Java Development Kit, Visual Studio Code and extension pack for Java inside Visual Studio Code on a Mac this time. Thank you very much for Bianca. Uh, Bianca is a new student in BIT and we really appreciate her helping us with this demo video. Thanks, Bianca. No worries. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is in a browser, we're going to search for Java Development Kit. Even if you search for JDK, it should give you the right one. So yeah. now Java is owned by Oracle from Sun Microsystems. It got sold to Oracle. The latest version is uh, JDK 21, and that's what we are going to install. The link that we want is for Mac OS, and I prefer the DMG installer. Uh, because it contains the applications inside it. Uh, there are two of them. There is ARM and x64. ARM is uh, 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 Apple's uh, proprietary processor, while x64 is Intel. So if you're using an Intel machine, use x64. If you're using uh, the M1 or M2, is M3 out? I don't know. M1 or M2 chip? Yeah, yeah. Then it's ARM. Um, mm, so while this uh, uh, download happens, uh, some other things. Uh, so one, once we uh, download Java Development Kit, we're going to install it. We're going to follow the same, all the prompts that it gives us. We don't have to change anything. Only after that are we going to download and install Visual Studio Code. All right, so you can see that JDK21 has been downloaded. So we're going to uh, double click on that. And you'll see that it contains a JDK21.0.2 package. We just double click on that and let it do its thing. Uh, it's incorrect architecture, so maybe Oops. we need ARM architecture. That's yeah, fine. my apologies. No, that's good. I mean, this this is all that happens in real life. So now anyone watching this video knows that if you install the incorrect one, that's fine. Just install the other DMG installer. Uh, you can see that uh, the first one we installed was x64, which did not work. So we are now installing uh, the ARM architecture. And that should be fine because there are only two options. If the first one was incorrect, the second one has to be correct. That's the only logical deduction. All right, we're gonna open this and double click on that. And yes, that's the right one. And we can and let it do its thing. And once it's installed, then we can move on to the second step, which is download. So you can move it, move the installer to the bin. That's not a problem. So the second step is downloading the editor, which is Visual Studio Code. Go directly to the download option. And this one is for Mac. So we're going to use Mac. On the top right side, there is a direct download option as well. So I would think that it does it there as well. All right, you can see that uh, Visual Studio Code is getting there. 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. There you go. We double click on that. And this time what it does is it extracts the application. And we're going to move that application to the Applications folder on the left panel or in the left panel, I should say. So in the Applications uh, folder, we should have Visual Studio Code. There it is. And we can open it. Uh, Mac OS might ask you whether you trust this uh, author or not. Yes, we trust it. And we'll close the welcome screen. On the bottom left side, you'll see there's a cogwheel, which is manage, and there is an option for extensions. So we'll check extensions. The extension that you want is called extension pack for Java. And 
and you can see it's got about 25 million installations. It's from Microsoft as the author and I'm gonna install this one. What this extension pack does is it does a lot of auto sense, auto completion, auto indentation, and other things for Java. Uh, now you can see that the installation, uh, the extension has been installed. If you click on extension pack for Java on the left hand left hand side, you can see that now the options have changed to disable and uninstall, which means that it has been installed. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on open folder now, which is this icon over here. And click on open folder. Uh, we are going to create, uh, so right now you're in the user's root folder. We're going to create a new folder and we'll name it my first Java project with every first letter of the word in uppercase. Uh, that's known as camel casing, like the humps of a camel. And it helps to, if you have a multi-word phrase, then it helps to distinguish that. I mean, Visual Studio Code doesn't help because it capitalizes everything. We're going to expand uh, uh, the folder using this icon. And there are four options. And the first one is to create a new file. So we'll choose that. Again, using the same camel case convention, we're gonna call it hello world.java. Oh, oh, just give me a second. Clear all drawings and close annotations. Um, in view options. Uh, Something has happened, I think. Uh, I'm going to yeah. request remote control. Oh, it, I think it's fixed now. So you can decline uh, the request. Oh, it's, no. it's yeah, fixed. somehow my cursor has become the eraser, I think. No worries. I'll request remote access. It's not letting me click either. Okay, so we managed to fix the little problem and the solution as always was, have you tried turning it off and on again? Uh, we're gonna create a new file now. And similar to the uh, the, prod, the folder, we're gonna use a uh, camel casing convention and call it hello world.java. Java should be in lower cases. Now, hello world is actually a tribute to three computer scientists. Uh, Dennis Ritchie, Ken Thompson, and Brian Kernighan. Uh, these three gentlemen and brilliant scientists uh, wrote the C programming language and the Unix operating system. There are two reasons I said that. A, because we should respect these brilliant people. And B, uh, because uh, Visual Studio Code's autocomplete module needs about 10 to 15 seconds to load up. So that gave us that time. On line number one, if we type now C-L-A-S-S -S in all lower cases, you will see that there's the first option is with a square icon. If you click the first option, it will, uh, it will, it will create the class template for you, which is public class hello world. So you don't have to worry about the whole statement. Every, every, uh, every, Java application must also have a main function. So if you type main in all lower cases, again, there is an option with square icon. And if you click that, you can see this one is much more complex, public, static, void, main, string, square brackets, which is an array arguments, ARGS. So it completes it for you. So that's very good. You can now type sys out in all lower cases. And again, if you autocomplete, it changes to system.out.println. So Visual Studio Code really gives you a lot of help. Whatever you put inside system.out.println inside double quotes, so between two double quotes, is output as it is. So you can type it whatever reference you want. So we've already done 
hello IT. <laughs> that's that's uh, if you haven't seen IT crowd, you should definitely watch it. So hello IT. Okay. And uh, uh, to run, there's an option, uh, run or debug. And you can also see on the top right corner, there is a play icon. So you can also use that play button to run your program. If everything is right, you can see that the output that you had will be displayed on the console. So you can run your program either using run or using this play button. What is this debug? We're gonna see in week two and three of COM 1010. So that's it. Now you've got a perfectly working setup to write Java programs, and uh, we're gonna have some fun with this in COM 1010 and beyond. Uh, I really appreciate your help, Bianca. Thank you very much. I hope no worries at all. You'll also enjoy that. Thank you. And have a good night, and see you soon. You too. Thank you.